Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts. Today we're gonna uncreate the Challenger from LS2. LS2 has been making helmets for many of the top brands in the world that you've already heard of, uh, and they decided it's about time to come to market with their own LS2 branded line of helmets. They've been around for a while now under their own LS2 label and they make an exceptional helmet at a great value. So typically their helmets are running about 30% less than some of their you know, bigger named competitors. Uh, no different here in the Challenger. This is a grand touring helmet. You know, it's full face with drop down, uh, great for touring, great for running around town too because that was a quick release chin strap so you're easy to get in and out of it. The Challenger comes in two constructions. It comes in the Challenger C, which is carbon fiber. That's what you see here in front of me. Uh, you can see the carbon fiber right through that graphic. Pretty neat. And then it comes in a fiberglass or composite model. Price difference, the composite is $299. So that's pretty inexpensive for a, a fiberglass drop down. You know, all the bells and whistles we're gonna show you. Not bad, $299. Full carbon, only $449.99. So yeah, awesome value. Both of them actually weigh the same, so 3.3 pounds. So if you're paying more for the carbon, it's because you think it looks cool and it will be a slightly stiffer shell construction, which tends to work better in higher energy impacts. More on that later. Uh, this helmet is DOT and ECE rated, three shell sizes, intermediate oval, fits true to size, so go buy the LS2 sizing chart you see on speedaddicts.com. Remember, free exchanges and returns when you shop with us. So if you get your size wrong, no problem. We'll actually pay to get the helmet back here and get you the size you need. Uh, that's all free of charge. Or if you just decide you want something else, we cover the shipping on that too. So let's jump in and see all the goodies that LS2 has for us on this Challenger helmet. First up, ventilation. Uh, big ventilation switches up here on the top. Uh, it's a, kind of a ram air system up on the forehead. You've got these two ram air vents that open and close with these big switches, easy to work with gloves on. And then more of a, a standard forehead switch. Um, both of them pretty easy to work, decent quality. Um, I really like these because they're, they're big and, and hard to miss with gloves on. Then down below, we have your uh, chin bar venting system that is worked with this. It's got all sorts of knurls in it and, uh, and bumps, so it's easy to get a hold of. And then back here, we've got more vents underneath uh, this air diffuser on both sides. And these also switch open and close. They're in the back, so they're technically an exhaust vent. You don't normally see switches on exhaust. So that's nice. If you're riding in cold weather, this is probably a good option because you can totally shut down the exhaust system, and it is also pin lock ready. So if you're riding in the cold and fog is an issue, they're including the pin lock in the box right there. A lot of other companies nickel and dime you, but you're getting your pin lock insert. For those of you that don't know, the pin lock is a, an extra lens that attaches to these nipples here, goes on the inside of your exterior face shield to prevent fogging. It creates a, tool, a dual pane system. Works really well. Some companies use a fog-free coating that's uh, applied to the inside during manufacturing, inside of the, the exterior face shield. Um, but a lot of times that can be disturbed and, and blur uh, and cause problems. It makes cleaning the shield um, kind of problematic. So pin lock insert is where most of the manufacturers are going these days. Let's check out this face shield. So I'm gonna see, we've got one, two, three position face shield. The pivot kit on this guy is spring loaded. So what that means is when we close this, the springs in the, in the pivot mechanism actually pull the shield against the helmet so that you get a really good seal. And let's open this guy up. Big breath deflector that comes on and off. And you have your interior sun shield. The coverage on this one is excellent. A lot of helmets with drop downs kind of hit me funny. They, they tend to only they, they don't go down quite far enough. And this one is just right on the money. You can tell by looking at it, the coverage is, uh, is all the way down. And that's worked by this switch over here on the bottom edge. Um, you know, this kind of limits where you can place uh, a Bluetooth system. This does have speaker pockets. And so it is Bluetooth ready. But having the switch on the bottom edge can be problematic for that. You could either mount it further up 
or mount it on this side. But typically, you know, I like I like the uh, the switches up on the top of the helmet. It kind of keeps them out of the way. But that's where we're at. Pretty smooth mechanism. And it's covered under a five-year warranty. Whenever you introduce more moving parts to a helmet, it's nice to know LS2 is going to stand behind this for a full five years, which is uh, more than double the industry standard. Let's uh, flip this guy over, and we'll show you what's underneath it. I'm also going to show you what comes in the box. So LS2 is bringing a lot of value, like I said before. They got to compete against the showies and bells of the world, right? So not, you're not getting just one bag, a helmet sock. You're getting that plus a deluxe carrying bag. I don't know about the choice with the white guys. That's going to get dirty pretty fast, but they're giving you both bags. <clears throat> you're also getting an ultra luxurious helmet donut. It is suede. It inflates. I know you guys watch my videos and you want one of these. Well, if you buy the Challenger, you get your own helmet donut, doubles as a hemorrhoid pillow, and uh, they're including that free in the box. But wait, there's more. They also have a glasses uh, system, glasses system. These are these little elastic um, bands, here you go, that go on the top of the cheek pad system, and it holds your glasses, when you, it holds your glasses in place, you slip it through those elastic bands, and it, and it manages your, your glasses. Nifty, it's a new thing, I haven't seen that before. Okay, let's look inside the Challenger. All right, double D-ring, closure. I'm gonna open this up, got a big pull tab. Now, I said before that it has a quick release. I lied to you. Our notes were bad. This is a double D-ring closure with a pull tab, retaining clip. You're gonna notice these these pulls, these are emergency quickly release cheek pads in case EMS has to get you out of the helmet in a hurry, you pull on these. I'm gonna snap these out of the way so you can see what else is going on inside this helmet. You'll notice the cheek pad is also the neck roll for that side of the helmet. So if you do end up, and same goes for the headliner. So if you replace your headliner and cheek pads, you essentially have a new uh, bottom finish to your helmet, which is nice because that's usually the part that gets torn up. Um, and uh, sometimes helmets that just have an old fashioned neck roll on the bottom are hard to refinish. Uh, really robust 3D padded, multi-density uh, cheek pad system. And it does have a nice lip, so it really creates a good seal underneath your jawbone. And that's where most of the sound comes in in a helmet. So this helmet is relatively quiet. I'm gonna pull this out so you can see where the speakers go in. All right, so a slight speaker relief. Get that out of the way. Down here by the chin strap. The EPS foam in here is multi-density. That's something you should expect these days. You don't wanna just use one density of foam in the crash liner. You want multi-density because different densities of foam perform different in different impact scenarios. Some works better in high speed, some works better in low speed. So you want that multi-density approach to give you a full spectrum of coverage. So let's pull this headliner out of the way so you can see what else is going on inside this. All right, it's gutted. There you go. A few little channels, otherwise nothing too unusual going on the inside of the LS2 Challenger. C, in this case, the carbon, or also available the GT model, which is fiberglass, like I said before. So, I mean, especially the, the fiberglass model coming in at 299, you're getting a, a helmet that's less than three and a half pounds with a drop down visor, excellent ventilation that can all be turned on and off. It's DOT ECE certified. You're getting a pin lock insert, you're getting the glasses manager, you're getting the helmet donut. Uh, you're getting deluxe carrying bag, all for $299. And if you want this sexy, sexy carbon, you can spend $150 more. Five-year warranty. They're throwing it all at you, folks. <clears throat> LS2 is really stepped up to the plate. We think you'll like this helmet. Give it a shot. Head over to speedax.com and pick up one today. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.